is why it is in five biology practical prep and um, this is the third category which talked about which is going to be based on our specimen g h and j so if you are just watching this video for the first time kindly drop on the under the comment section that you want the video for the first category like specimen a and b or probably second category that's what specimen c d e f but this particular video is just about the third category which is specimen g h and j remember that there is no i it is j so now the possible question you should be expecting or you can see from this why uh, identify biology practical for this third category is that maybe have to identify specimen g h and j so specimen g is what raw egg raw egg then you have to note that it is what intact with shell that is shell intact and for specimen age specimen age is test tube with water while specimen j is longitudinal section section of boiled egg good so what are the possible questions you can also see is that they can ask you to carry out the tests for protein on the white portion of specimen j and what are the things they can ask you to do while carrying out the um the protein test is that you are going to state the procedure that is number one you will record your observation and you're going to write your inference so if this thing can actually be in a tabular form it can be in a tabular form so if it's in a tabular form then the first one will be the procedure second one will be the observation and the third one will be the inference so for your procedure this is let me just put procedure observation and what inference here as p o i so for the procedure what are you going to write you're going to write add one mu add one mu mu is ml of sodium hydroxide add one mu of sodium hydroxide to egg to egg white in a test tube then add one percent of calcium sulfate of copper sulfate rather cuso4 of copper sulfate drop wise again add one mil of sodium hydroxide to egg white in a test tube then you are going to add one percent of copper sulfate drop wise so that so that will be the procedure then the observation is going to be you're going to observe purple or violet coloration that is the color so purple or violet coloration purple or violet coloration then what is going to be your inference your inference is going to be protein is present so for your inference is going to be protein is present so protein is present now another question they can ask you from this same third category is that you should state one observable observable differences or difference between the raw that is specimen g and the boiled egg specimen j that is state one observable difference between the raw you know that is an egg raw egg like that for specimen g and the boiled egg that is for specimen j so what i'm going to say the difference is going to be the the boiled egg is solid the difference so you can tabulate it always tabulate your difference so you can say specimen g here and here is what j then the the boiled um the boiled egg is um uh, is solid while the raw egg is liquid so the boiled egg is solid 
that's for specimen j boiled egg so why the raw egg raw egg is liquid inside you have to know that is liquid inside let's put that word inside so they can ask you that now another question they can also ask you is that you should mention two changes that occur when an egg is boiled mention two changes that occur when an egg is boiled so one of them out of the two number one and that will be coagulation of protein so there will be coagulation of what of protein and another one is going to be loss of transparency loss of transparency good now another question they can still ask you again from this same thought category which is specimen g h and j is that you should name the part of the egg feasible in specimen j name the parts of the egg feasible in specimen j and what are they the first one is shell you can see the shell the abdomen and that is also known as the white and then the yolk abdomen this is a l b u m e n and the yolk so if you are asked to name the the part of egg feasible in uh, specimen j that's what i'm going to write then another question they can ask you they can ask you from the same category is that you should state the function of the shell and abdomen state the function of the shell and abdomen so the function of the shell is that shell is for protection shell shell is for protection why for the abdomen abdomen is the nutrition and shock absorption so abdomen is the nutrition and what and shock absorption so that is that ah uh, well these are the likely questions i have for you so kindly watch this video and copy all this thing down very well add it to whatever you are studying and um, if you have not watched the first category second category video just comment under the comment section that you need the video and i wish you best of luck in your exam by the special grace of god this your biology 25 both the objective theory and practical is going to land you with a1 that is excellent claim this prayer by typing amen under the comment section